be great to be more productive? These are questions that I have asked myself a lot and I've actually found some key ways to be more productive in my life. I'm a person that likes to accomplish things but also really enjoys to relax. And so sometimes I would find myself kind of going and going and going and doing tons and tons of actions and then only to be left with this total burnout, right? And just complete fatigue and doing nothing. And so this dynamic of activity and rest was not very balanced. Well, as I was studying more about the cycles of time and especially the phases of the moon, I actually learned that a waxing moon is a really important time to get things done. And it was the key factor as to why I was having these big ups and downs within my productivity. And so for me, what I found was that when I started acting and doing more during the waxing moon, then my projects went a lot smoother, I had more ideas, and I just seemed to be able to have the energy to get things done. And when I really honored the waning moon, and this is something that you know, is somewhat against societal norm, especially here in the West, because we are so programmed to believe that we have to go and act and do. It's a very divine masculine energy. It's about going all the time. Yet in reality, we have these phases, these cycles that allow the body to maintain equilibrium, to maintain its balance. And so when I stopped pushing so hard during the waning moon, during the, the time of the moon phase when the light of the moon was growing darker, I found myself able to heal better. I found myself able to sleep a lot better. I had more creativity because I wasn't pushing so hard. And so what you'll find is that whenever the moon is waxing, which means it's increasing in light, then the energy in your body and the energy of the world is actually a little bit higher. So during the waxing moon, one of the most important things you can do is to act, is to get out there, is to get things done. And that waxing moon phase, it's about a two week phase. This is a time for you to go for it. And it actually is any time that you take actions during a waxing moon, they tend to come to fruition a little bit smoother with a little more grace. Now, the other side of this is with a waning moon, that's a time for you to direct your energy within. So if you have two weeks where you get to take a lot of action and then you get two weeks of the waning moon where you can relax a little more, now you've found this balance in life of how to navigate when to act and when to retreat. So the key way to become more productive is to use the phases of the moon. Act more when the moon is waxing and increasing in light and do a little less when the moon is waning. Take your time with this. Do this for a few months and maybe journal or just record what's been happening for you. Because as you remember from my last video about the key things to do on a full moon, the full moon is the time to bring things to fruition. So if you're acting during that waxing moon, you bring them out during the full moon, and then you start to relax and wane and turn within, you can learn more about how to be productive in your life. So please be sure to subscribe. Let me know your experiences. I look forward to hearing them.